Hey, I'm Adam W, and the W stands for welcome to an episode of Real or Surreal presented by Adobe. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's for Waheed. We like to have fun around here. Okay. On today's episode, one of my best friends that will probably never speak to me again after this will try to guess whether a photo I present is real or surreal. Let's meet our guest, Daystorm Power. What's hey. up, man? What, ouch. Well, because you you had the fist and then you went back to Punched me. Well, you, that's what you did. You, okay. All right. We like to start off each episode with some rapid fire facts about our guest. I like that. His mom named him using a superhero name generator. What? No. Every Thanksgiving, he likes to enjoy a turkey with his bare hands. He describes himself as, and I quote, not a big fan of bathing. Bro, that's not, that, look, that's I don't gross. know what bootleg blogs okay. he's getting. Before we get started, let's get some paperwork out of the way. Paperwork, I thought we took care of all this in the beginning. Yeah, right? no, we have, we have all our guests do this. Yes, so not at the bottom. Okay. Uh, thank you. So basically, you just contractually agreed that if you lose and guess wrong, you will have to fold my laundry at the end of this episode. That's stupid. I'm not going to do it. Okay, that. let's get started. It's time for the hot seat. Hey, where's the hot seat? It's right here. Oh, oh that's a maternity pad. It's not even... Okay, they're not, they're not even hot. Well, you got to give it a second to warm up. You should work on you your hot... You just plug them in. You so should work gonna, on your gonna, hot seat. These it's it's even... going to get really hot. Okay. 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 All right, are you ready? Yep. Your 20 seconds begins now. Okay, so one of these photos is a delicious cake, and the other one I edited using Adobe Photoshop. Wait. Okay, can we can we take it back a little bit? Because you used some of my time to for your your. Well, no, because I, I yeah, but that's part of the 20 seconds. Okay. okay, can we take it back? Let's take it back four seconds, guys. Um, so this one, wow, this is this is pretty good. One's um, real, one's surreal. Oh, so that one, that one's, okay, um. Sure. That has to be. Is that your answer? Well, I could tell which one. Okay. Hold on, I didn't. Okay. What's your final answer? The one on the right. That answer is wrong. It's the one on the right. What do you no. mean? That's edited. That I edited that on Adobe Photoshop. Yeah. Look, I'll show you the BTS footage. You see, the other picture that was Photoshop. This right here, this is a real cake. Yeah. This is Trace Lechase, my friend. You're wrong. Oh, okay. That, that was the, the only legit part of the show, by the way. Yeah, you being wrong. No, you you actually having someone edit a picture for you. Well, I edited it. No, okay. I did. You I'm, didn't edit that. I did. I did, and I'm going to show you how I did it. Laptop! They're really efficient. Okay, so check this out. There's two really cool things I use all the time. One is content aware film which is actually one of my favorites because you could literally just remove objects from the photo that you don't want there. I was actually holding the shoe here, so all we did was use the lasso tool, made the selection around the part of it we wanted to remove, and it doesn't need to be perfect, just a loose selection. Then you just hit edit, fill, and then one of the content options is content aware. So you just hit okay, and boom, object's gone. Okay, so the other tool I use here, which I also love, is the pattern stamp tool. Okay, you can actually create your own patterns in Photoshop, which is sick. You don't really need to be an artist. Everyone can do this, including you. But I already had one in mind with the rainbow cake, so I didn't really need to do that here. I did, however, need to add it as a new file in Photoshop and then just define it so you can bring it in later. Then I went back to the main image of me and selected the area that I wanted to add the pattern in, which was inside the shoe. I used the quick selection tool here and just dragged it over the two sides of the cut shoe. Then I hit the clone stamp tool, pattern stamp tool, and then using the drop down, find the pattern you saved or created. In this case, it was our cake. Then you hit okay and the selected areas will fill with your pattern. Boom, that's it. Everyone can do it, which means you can. That was, I respect that. Well, there you have it. My guest today was very, very wrong. And now it's time for his contractually mandated punishment where he's gonna fold my laundry. Bro, I'm not gonna fold your laundry, bro. Yeah, well, yeah you signed the contract. I'm not folding the No, you the signed that we have it Why in paperwork. You that? signed the contract, you signed I'm, it. I'm That's not gonna did. do yeah. that, and who? All right, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you tune into the next episode of Real or wear Surreal. Shirt, bro? I wear that to bed. No, you did yeah, Make sure you, you fold that. Wear I like draws? three folds you on for three that. decades no, and you're folding draws? I'm not gonna fold Yeah, I like it in three, three cups. Today I have one of my dear friends that I actually don't like that much to see whether a photo is real or one of my sick Photoshop edits. This is kind of nice. What are those? Uh, they're heating lamps. Just give them a sec. They 
Take a second. Yeah. I didn't put on deodorant this morning. Yeah, well, that's your problem. Your time begins now. Is it timer?